Hi again everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to create sample pages, new pages on your website and basically how to reflect them in your menu bar. And I've already created one of the pages, it's called the sample page over here. And let's go to the backend of the website and create a new one. So first of all go to the backend and from the left side bar menu select pages. And here you have all your pages that you create you have created in your website. Um, to add a new page, click on add new button. Okay. In the first box enter the title for the new page. And because I want uh, I've already created one of the pages which is reflected in the menu as a normal page, I want to create a sub page for this. Uh, sample page that they have here. So I'm going to type in sub page. Okay. Now let's put some um, some media content here. Uh, some uh, text here. Just like that. And let's add a new image inside here. Click on add new media button. Click select from files from your computer and select the files. Well, one photo is enough. Okay, click and search into post and Let's go and set a feature image. Feature image. This. Okay. Click set feature image. And let's publish this page. Okay. And now I want to talk to you, uh, to you about the template you're using for the pages. And right now we're going to use uh, we are using the default template. And to view the page, we're going to click on View Page. And let's see how it looks like now. Okay. So over here we are. We have. Uh, a feature image, a new image which I've inserted inside the post, and um, some text here. You'll notice that if you change the template, for example, to archives, and you update the uh, page, the structure of the page that we've created is going to change. So we don't have any more feature any feature image here. We have only a only the image that we we set uh, inside the post, the text, and some archives of the blog posts. Let's go ahead and change it to columns. Refresh the page, and you can see that um, our page is already ordered into two columns here and here. Um, to contact, click on it, refresh the page, so here we have the, the, um, the, the text, the contact page here, the contact information, the feature image, and of course our image that we've set here. Okay. Let's change the template to the image left. Click update. It's going to select a different uh, template. And you can go around with templates and try them different, differently. Um, I don't know, you can experiment with them. Um, for example, I don't like actually the image inside the text, so I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to use a default template. Update it and refresh it. 
and here I have the page. Um, but you might question how do you reflect actually a sub page to be reflected somehow into the menu or how do you reach this page other than pressing the view page button. So to include this page into your navigation menu, I'll go again to the back end of the website, click on appearance and click on menus. Okay. Scroll down and in this section pages you'll find your page. Here it is. It's called sub page. Click on it and click add to menu. And if you see, if you look at it, um, it is in the same row as the other pages from the navigation menu. If you just click save menu and refresh the, the page, another um, yeah, another page has appeared here. It's called sub page in the navigation menu, in the main menu here. But I want this um, this section here to be right under the sample page. I want this to be a sub page. So I'm gonna go here again in backend, click on it, and drag it just under the sub page, a little bit on the left, on the right side. So you can see that uh, everything which is in the row is basically reflected on the main menu, and if it's a little bit on the right, it's going to be under. It's going to be a sub page of the page that uh, it is under. Um, okay, let's um, let's let's save it and refresh the page. And here we have a new sub page. Click on it, and it redirects you to the page that you've created. Okay, I guess that's it for uh, creating pages. Uh, hope that clarifies pretty much about how do you create pages in the Illusion theme. Thank you for watching the video.